quiet snuggle. Welcome back to Mutazione. A 15-year-old's grandfather is ailing and she needs to nurse him back to health, but he lives on an island full of friendly mutants. How will she survive this small-town mutant drama? Puzzle solving and lateral thinking. Of course. So, last time, uh, Grandpa and I took a trip to the spirit world and it could have gone better. <laughs> um, Grandpa, um, yeah, we need to, we need to call Mom. Can I not call Mom? Hold on. Yeah, there we go. Uh, but Grandpa kind of got stuck in the spirit world. He's not dead, but he get, did get stuck in the spirit world, so we have to kind of try to fix it. <laughs> Which means we need Mom to come to the island. Hi. Mom, you have to... You reached his answer machine. No. Sorry, I can't take your call right now. Please leave your message after tone, and I'll get back as soon as I can. Beep. Mom, you have to come. You have to come right now. There's been a terrible accident. There was this ritual thing, and it was like he got stuck, or... You have to come right away. I can't do this alone. Please. Okay. Hopefully Mom will come. Whew. I'm so tired. Hey, Kate, can we take a nap, maybe? Okay, so they're still struggling with the with that bird thing. So let's um head back here. Maybe we can go back to Grandpa's and take a nap. That seems like a good idea. Oops, sorry. <laughs> no, I just keep chasing these turkeys around. I don't mean to. <laughs> yeah. Let's go in here. Let's see. I'll say, uh, let's see. It's okay. I'm keeping him cool. It's not. I don't think it's like a regular coma or whatever. He'll drink if you hold water to his mouth. It's more like the bit of him that's him is stuck somewhere, just out of reach. Can I do something? It's not your fault, Kai. You have to start telling yourself now. So that maybe eventually you can believe it. All right, I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, boy. I'm so wrecked. Oh, it's evening already. I was kind of thinking we might maybe have a dream. Kai. Kai. How's Grandpa? It's a popo tree. You have to see. But Grandpa, how is he? I'm sorry. He's the same. But you have to see the tree. It's so beautiful. Petals falling like rain. <gasps> we need those. Look. And pop a flower? Pop a flowers for the fung. Sorry, what? I know what I have to do. I brought the gardens back to life, but it's more than that. All this time, the people have seen the fung as the cause of the damage. But as Jala said, life from decay and decay from life. It's about balance. The flower is life. Uh, I have to go. Can you look after Grandpa a bit longer? Of course, but where? I have to go. Holy Sclorb, look at that. Okay, so where am I going? Um, I guess, oh, I need to, I need to go to the, uh, wow. This is nice, okay. So let me think now. Um, yeah, let's talk to Yoke. Yep, Yoke. It was you, wasn't it? The tree, the blossom. I think I have to go to the Fung. Seven gardens, moon is sung. Papa flowers for the Fung. Hmm. What you made is beautiful. Is there nothing I can say to keep you safe? My mom's on her way. You were right. Important. We cannot bear any more loss. Please. Okay, so I need to go to the cave now. Let's head in here. Talk to... Well, maybe we can talk to Dennis first. Clue Clay. Snurf. <laughs> what a wonderful day. All hard work come to fruition. Nerfle. Old Papa Flowering. Okay. 
people are happy about it, which is good. Let's see if we can rescue Grandpa. Hmm? <laughs> Kelsa, there's been a great change. Popo's flowering. Hmm. Even in a time of alignment, the power of Fung is dangerous. You said it yourself. Life out of decay. Theories must be tested. I wish you luck with your experiment. Okay, let's go in. Thank you, Delusa. <laughs> All right. We... Oh, they're not... The centipedes aren't glorping there anymore. Huh. Remember when we walked up here before? Here it goes. When we walked in here before, um, the centipedes were like, hey, don't come in here. I'm not actually doing anything. Okay, this is a cutscene. All right, got it. Okay, let's go. We have the little flower thing. And I think the flowers keep the centipedes from... I can't pick any of these spores or anything. Wow. Look at the size of that mushroom. Holy splarg. Yeah, there's some roaming around, but they seem to be leaving me alone. So that's good. Okay, here we come. Oh, look at those little... What's one of those little bouncing things behind me? <laughs> oh, look, it's like a like a cross between a crab and a and an anglerfish. That's an anglerfish, right? The ones with the with the with the weird thing hanging off the front of their head, I think. Oh my gosh! <gasps> Is this a fun? I have a flower for you. Uh, you are the strangest mushroom I've ever seen. Oh my gosh! Holy splarg! What the? Huh. Um, still not doing anything. Ooh, stuff falling out. Special mushroom gunk. What am I doing? I'm collecting it. Okay. I don't know why, but okay. Um, can I talk to you? <laughs> We're supposed to be this cool mushroom thing. Maybe you're not sentient. <laughs> I'm not sure. I mean, thanks for the stuff. Oh, I, I touched it, and now I'm now I'm seeing what happened. So here's where it was like, yeah, where it was like before the meteor hit, and then the meteor hit. Oh, and just scorped up a bunch of stuff. Wow. Uh oh, what the? Oh my gosh. That is pretty beautiful. Huh. What? Where did I go? <laughs> yeah. Uh. Uh-oh. Because of his tongue. Okay, yeah, oh, there's, yeah, there's Mew in the water, relaxing in her special private place. What's that? Is that Mom? Did Mom make it? I think it is. Good. Good. Excellent. So I guess Grub is leaving. You know, I don't know where this place is because we saw this in a dream. And I don't know where that is. Hmm. And I don't know who that is. Interesting. <gasps> it's a white deer. It's you. Aw, he put a little snoot in our hand. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's Grandpa. We're kind of seeing him, kind of not. Here, want some mushroom gunk? <laughs> hey, look, it's that weird bird. Kai, you found me. I thought I was lost. I thought I'd be alone here forever. I'm here now figured it out. You saw what I didn't see. Thought I was dying that I needed to train a replacement. I feared what would happen to the community without me. But the problem was me. You wanted me to take over for you? Come on, Kai. Keep up here. <laughs> I know it's frustrating. I had to give you the ingredients, but not the recipe. You need to find your own way to this kind of practice. It was a deer. A white deer. She came to me. She showed me where to find you. Hmm. Do you know your guide's name? 
Semenya. Strong and noble. I like it. And you have known my guide, Karu, for quite some time. Oh, that's your spiritual guide. Oh, did you send him to me? I did not. Though I know he wished for you to visit. <laughs> the bird's like, yep. <laughs> Kai. How am I supposed to go back? I think I can find a way. No, I mean, how can I face it? Her little children. Her whole life. My best friend's son. Torn apart because of me. Mm. I belong here. To this darkness. No, it's not because of you. This. This was the problem. You have to let go of this stuff. Mm. When Dad died, I thought... I wished on everything. Stars, spilled salt, seeds that floated by. But it was never your fault. It was never yours. I trained him. And I failed. It was my responsibility to give back what the expedition my colleagues stole. It wasn't your job to do that. I couldn't wish my dad alive again. But in the end, I wasn't wishing for him. I was wishing for before. To be a kid again. In passing the practice on to RD, I thought it would be passing my knowledge back to the community. I would have unpicked our damage. Instead, there was more. But in all of this, you're suggesting I have situated myself as some kind of savior? You meant well. Hmm. After the disaster of Moon Dragon, Mirazioni needed a founder and a leader. I tried to give the power back to RD, one of the community. But you think perhaps I was trying to predict Manny's path? Using an idea of power and responsibility was mine, not hers. I see. What a clever, wonderful person you are. You are a good teacher. Annoying too, no doubt. <laughs> the power needs to be shared. My task should be to open it up. Tell me. Tell me what else you have realized. Talk about, talk about my father. I saw him, you know. Dad. And even though I saw him, I think I now know, like, really know, that he died. We've been alone, you know. And so have you. Hmm. Do you know the way out? Together. Oh, well done. Well done. Nice. So Mushroom Gunk fixed him. Oh! Wait, I'm so confused. Uh, I'm at the temple. Okay. Oh, did these rocks have lighty things on them before? I don't think they did. Okay. Hmm. It's Monday, midday. Uh, yeah, nothing in there. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll head out. Let's go see if Grandpa's okay. Wait. Oh, my days. Kai, you're okay. What time is it? Everyone's out looking for you. I had to stop, pick a few berries. I missed a meal and the baby is... Oh, never mind. I'm glad you're okay. I've got to head back to town. Tell everyone you're okay. I'll just slow you down. Quickly, go. All right, I actually have to go to Grandpa first, so we're going to do that. Oh, but Yoke knew where I was going. <laughs> I mean, like, Yoke literally knew where I was going. <laughs> Although, I'm trying to think, did they know? Did Jella tell everybody? Yeah, surely they knew where. That was the archives code, which means Yoke is probably in town. But we have to go talk to Grandpa. I think that's the... I think that's the main thing. So let's go up to Grandpa. There's Yoke. Can we talk to Yoke? Oh my. My heart is hammering and I feel lightheaded. But you're safe. I'm okay, don't worry. I was so certain you've been lost. Never been so happy to be proven wrong. Forgive me, Kai. It seems you're much stronger than I was able to give you credit for. It was your research to help me work it all out. As much as I would like to sit here and listen to you flatter me. 
You must set up and see your mother. Did you know she's here? And no one was all but recovered. We will talk a bit more later, but now make haste. Haste. All right, all right, all right. Jeez. <laughs> I'm making haste. <laughs> okay, here we are. Let's go in. I think mom should be in here. There we are. Kai. Ah. Great. Oh, thank goodness. Where have you been? Uh, I want to talk to Grandpa first. You're okay. That I am. I think in no more small way, thanks to you. We've been looking everywhere for you. But how did you get here so fast? Kai, you've been missing for more than a day. A day? I've been trying to reassure everyone that you were safe. The crew would never let harm come to us. My problem was that I was lost. But you found me. And I believe found a guide of your own. She was so strong. Beautiful and strong. I felt safe with her. Can I see her again? She's with you, my child. Hmm. Some of us are feeling a little left out of the story here. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> I think we're all missing something important here. This poor girl hasn't eaten for a day. <laughs> How about I cook you up a lovely lunch and we can tell us what happened? Perfect. I'm starving. You go on ahead of me. I just want to sit in the sun of my garden for a moment. Gather myself. Ah, oh, I'm glad Mom's here. And I saw you. You were in the harbor, and it was like I knew you were coming. Remarkable. I can't believe everything you've done. I'm so proud of you. But it wasn't really about me. I mean, I know I helped by balancing all the gardens and stuff, but actually it was a different kind of balance. Grandpa got sick because he blamed himself. But his blame was kind of selfish. I don't know, that's the wrong word. No, I know exactly what you mean. Your nonna used to talk to me about the same thing. She would say that while she was furious, she knew why Nuno had to stay. She called it a dangerously righteous kind of guilt. I think it was like poison. He kept on trying to fix things like his own. And that all that darkness turned in on him. Hmm. All those letters we wrote him. I thought he didn't want us in his life. Turns out, he thought he was protecting us. Thank you for coming. You said it's so scared. And when I tried to call back, they said they couldn't find you. I didn't think of anything else after that. Your grandpa and I, we spoke a little. I just stopped by, dip by in for a second, catch my breath, looking for you. And then he woke. He woke and said everything was going to be okay. Still a little angry. He spent hours trying to be a hero when I needed a dad. But I can forgive him. Mom, how am I supposed to go back to the real world after all this? <laughs> and you were so annoyed you had to miss the swim camp. But you don't have to leave it behind. Let's try and make this place a part of our lives, okay? Just think of all the mischief Toby can get himself into. Oh man, I so want to introduce him to the dots. Look, Claire's coming. Such a delight to see you two again. Sorry, I didn't have a chance to eat while we were searching. I'm supposed to say Spike's setting up for a photo. A photo? He's kind of an amateur photographer, and he wants everyone to get a group shot. To, uh, mark the day. Spike is Claire's bow. Mom, sounds wonderful. I have to pass the message. Why not let Kai spread the word? She and I got all kinds of time to catch the world up on. But I want you to hear more about you. Tell me about this spike chap. He was around when I was here, right? Uh, let's head straight up past me. I'll go spread the word about the Shadow Shashur. Sure. Oh, that'd be lovely. And it would be every time to get my hair done, too. Thank you. Chapter 8. Reunion. Afternoon. Let's see this spike. What does what our what does our book say? I should tell folks about the photo and then check back with Spike. We will tell folks about the photo and check back with Spike, but that will be 
next time. Thanks for watching this playthrough of Mutazione. So come up next, I feel like we're going to wrap the story up. I have to have to talk to everybody, get everything all wrapped up in a nice, neat little package. We'll do it. Thanks for watching. See you next time for more Mutazione. See you then.